So you want to pin your NeoVim? I've deleted all my old config and now I show you right away how to do that. First of all, we create a folder called nvm, then we cd into it, create a file named init.lua, this is the first file called by NeoVim, and for demonstrating that, uh, I add a print that say hello in it. If I close the file and relaunch NeoVim, we can see that we have the hello world at the bottom left corner. After that, we create two another directory. The first one is called Lua, and in the Lua directory, the A2N directory. In this directory, we create another init.lua file. Just like that. Then we add the print, just like before. That say, hello from the A2N folder. We can close the file, then in the init.lua file present under the a2n directory, we had the require that import the a2n folder. We can close that and if we reopen NeoVim, as you can see, we have both of the print. Okay, we can close that, then we are going to delete all the print we put under the init.lua file because this is not necessary at all for uh, NeoVim to work. So first of all, uh, I delete that line and then I delete the line present in the init.lua file under the A2N directory. Okay, we can close that and then we are going to install Packer that is available on GitHub. This plugin aims to handle automatically the installation process for another plugin. For installing it, you just have to copy and paste on your terminal this line of code. And then we are going to copy this free line and paste it under a file that called packer.lua that we need to create under the lua uh, slash a 2 folder, like that. And here we add the hand to close the function and we can write and close this file. Now we import this file into the init.lua file that exists under the A2N folder, like that. Require a2n.packer. Now we can relaunch NeoVim and do a pack async. And as you can see, everything is up, so we can close that. And continue to our next plugin that is Telescope. Telescope is a plugin for searching file, for example, file present in Git or just file present in the current uh, directory. For installing it, you just have to uh, copy paste this line and uh, the file we just created before, the packer.lua file. You can put it at the end of it, just after the packer line, like that. And we can delete this line. And pro tips, if you select all your code on it equal, NeoVim auto indent the code. We can now uh, write the file and close it. And now we are going to reopen the rim and redo a packaging for installing telescope. And as you can see, it's well installed, so we can close that. And now we are going to create the config file for telescope, but first we need two directory. The first one is after, and the second one in after is called plugin. Now in the plugin uh, folder, we can create a file called telescope.lua and in it we can copy past this uh, two line just here. The first uh, line uh, required telescope when NeoVim is launched and the second one set the, um, the shortcut leader uh, then f then f for the built-in find file function. If we want, we can duplicate this line and uh, add another shortcut. 
for example f and g so uh, like so we can do leader then f then g and uh, with the git file function we can change the file present in git we can write and close this file and after that if i open novim on it backslash f and f uh, as you can see it showed the telescope but i doesn't love uh, the backslash for my default keys so i can put space in place of that if you want to do that, you have, you have to create a file named remap.lua under the a2n folder, just uh, like we have done before with other files. And in it, we put the following code, vim.g.mapleader, then equal space. Just like that. After that, we just have to write the file and uh, close it. And we have to load this file via the init.lua file that exists under the A2N folder. Just like we have done with the Packer file. A2N.remap. So after that, we can write and close this file. And if I relaunch uh, NeoVim, it enter then F then F. It works. So now we are going to use a plugin that is very essential, uh, especially for developers, that is called TreeSitter. The objective of this plugin it is to do uh, mostly syntactic colorization. This is a parser, so for that we are going to uh, install the plugin like we have done with the other via the Packer plugin. You just have to check uh, at the readme present in GitHub and use the code that is available just under this link and copy the second block of code. And we add it at the end of the packer.lua file just like we have done with telescope. Like before, I select my code, it's equal to automatically indent it, and we can write and close this file. We relaunch NeoVim, do a pack async, and everything is good if Twisitor is installed. So we can close that. And now we have to create the config file for Twisitor, like we have done with Telescope. We create a file named Twisitor.lua under the plugin folder just like that and in this file we add the default configuration uh, given by the readme that is available just here and we are going to delete all the comments and the code we don't need so i don't need that i don't need that either i don't need that we can delete uh, that too and all this stuff is not needed Okay, I have deleted uh, one line by mistake, so I just add it. This is the auto underscore install that is set to true. Okay. Now the main option you want to check is the answer install option. In this uh, option, you will have to list all the language you want to have for your parser. So for example, you can add uh, Rust, TypeScript, for example, JavaScript, Lua, and so on. So uh, now you can write and close this file. And after that, you just have to relaunch uh, NeoVim. And as you can see, at the bottom of the terminal, uh, Twisitor have installed all the passwords we have listed. So now if uh, we reopen the last file, you can view that the colorization have changed. This is not my terminal team that have colored the word, but the parser. Now we are going to pass to the last plugin we need to install, the LSP. We are going to use zero LSP, available also on GitHub. And for installing it, uh, we are going to use the V3 version because the V2 uh, use uh, different settings. And for that, we are going to uh, do the same thing as before. We uh, add the use line under the packer.lua file that is available 
right air. Just after three sitters. And we can uncomment the two following line because uh, Mason is needed to automatically handle the LSP. So we are going to use it. After that, we can close uh, the file. And as you guess it, we just have to relaunch NeoVim and do a pack async. With no typo, <laughs> if possible. So, okay, everything is installed, so we can close that. And now we are going to focus uh, for the configuration file of the LSP. Like the other, you just have to create a lsp.lua file under the plugin folder. And then we can add the default configuration just available here. We can delete these two lines and add the following code for Mason. The first line requires the Mason. So we just have to uh, type require uh, mason dot setup just like that. Dot setup with a blank setup. And after that, we require the second package that it call mason dash lsp config. And we are going to put a setup option in it. The first one is called answer uh, installed. And it works like uh, the option we put under the three seater config file. You just have to list all the LSP you want to have installed on your computer. So for example, uh, TS server for TypeScript and JavaScript. And we can also put the Lua server Lua underscore ls. Okay, we can close that and we can reopen that because <laughs> I've uh, forgotten the second line. That is very important. This is the handler option that say that uh, we need Mason LSP config that be handled by LSP zero. So you just have to put uh, handler equal and then LSP underscore zero dot default underscore setup. Okay, so now we can uh, write and close that. Then we can reopen the lsp.lua file. And if I type something, I have auto completion. So the package is uh, well installed and configured. So everything is working fine. The last thing I want to do is to replace the little hash we have in the gutter, just here, with some icon. You can use a not font icon, for example, but uh, I'm going to fit with the example uh, given by the documentation in the API reference uh, file, just here. You just have to copy past that into your file at the end, then relaunch uh, the file and everything is done. If I reopen the file, uh, write something wrong, for example, as you can see, we have now a flag and a triangle in place of the H and the W. So, okay, let's delete that, close this file and everything is set up now. The next step uh, is to set up some option for NeoVim. For example, as you can see, I don't have any uh, line number and the team is pretty uh, odd uh, with this uh, weird pink modal. So um, I'm going to set up some default option for NeoVim and the team. For the option, you just have to create a new file uh, under the E2N folders that is called base.lua. You can call it uh, like you want. So I just have to do uh, nvbas.lua and in it I just copy past uh, my save and if you want to view what the option does I have put a little bit of command right to it so you just have to read it. So if I close the file and reopen it it doesn't work because <laughs> I've completely forgot to import it into the init.lua file so we are going to do that so let's open the init.lua file Add a require line, just here, require a2n.base. 
then we can close it and reopen the last file. And as you can see, now we have true colors, we have line numbers and so on. Okay, we can close the file and now we are going to install a team. For the team, I have chosen Cat Putin because this is the same team as my terminal. It's available too on GitHub. And the advantage of this team is that it works like a plugin. So you just have to add a line to your Parker.lua file, just like we have done before. So we put catputsin slash nvm. You can copy past the name of the repository. In general, the name of the repo is the name of the plugin. Just like that. And we put uh, another option that is as. As equal, then catputsin. The objective of this option is uh, to call just catputsin and not catputsin slash nvim in the code. So after that, we can close the file, relaunch NeoVim, do a pack async, check if the plugin is well installed. This is the case, so we can close that. Then we are going to create the config file for catputsin. So we create a new file called catputsin.lua under the after slash plugin folder. Just we have done a hundred times before. And in this file, we just have to require the plugin that is called now catputsin because of the as option. Then dot setup and in the setup, we are going to put just one option that is the flavor. I choose the same flavor as my terminal. That is the mocha flavor. Then after we just add uh, the last one of code we need, that is vim.cmd.colorscheme. Cat puts in. The objective of this line is to automatically set the team of NeoVim uh, to cat puts in each time is launched. So I've made a tuple right here. I forgot to he. So let's put. Okay, we can write and close. Then if we reopen the file, as you can see, now we have a well done color scheme. And if I open a modal like that, I don't have the weird pinky modal we have before, but a well set gray and blue modal. So this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like uh, the video, don't hesitate to uh, hit the like button or the comment section. And for me, I see you next time.